Hey there, Artsies. What I want to show you today is how to take your dramatic portrait, uh, self-portrait photo shoot and uh, turn it into a colorful, wild, expressive piece using, this time, Pixlr. Pixlr is a web app, P-I-X-L-R dot com. It's a free web app that you can launch from any browser that has features that are similar to Adobe Photoshop. So if once you go to pixlr.com, you're loading up the editor function and opening an image from your computer, just like you would in Photoshop. So I'm going to use this file here to, to demonstrate the, the couple of things that you're going to be doing. Sometimes when, lo when files load up like this and they load up sideways, um, you can rotate the canvas 90 degrees and then you have the proper orientation um, for, your, for your shot. Now, one of the first things we're going to be doing is um, cropping the image so there's a minimum of background. In order to pull off a really great pastel portrait, you want to have your face to be being as large as possible with um, a minimum of background. So I typed in an aspect ratio of 22 by 28, which is the size of our paper, um, and I'm going to apply the, this change uh, where I've cropped down right to the face. All right, so a minimum of background, make your, your face nice and big in the, the image. If there's something that's particularly intriguing about a hand or a shoulder, feel free to include that. But just in, as a general rule, you're trying to minimize the background. All right, now the adjustments that we're going to be making for it to this image are to create wild and different colors. So um, these are found in the top adjustment menu and we're going to be first using levels if you watch the Photoshop uh, tutorial we did the same edit in, in Photoshop so we're going to make a more highly contrasted photo by bringing the white slider across a little bit all right and the dark slider across a little bit too all right so that darkens especially the background which is something that um, is looks really nice and what we're looking for so that's the first thing we're going to do after that, you're going to go in back into your adjustments menu and call up curves. Now curves um, adjust either all three channels at the same time, or what we're going to do is we're going to go right into the individual red, green, and blue colors and pull on this curve by adding notches and uh, essentially just kind of messing with it in different ways and seeing how it affects our image. So if I pull this really up, then I get more reds in the, in the image, which I kind of like. Then I'm going to go down to the green next, and the green slider I can pull down. The more weird you make the, the curve, the more strange and unnatural the colors are. You can see here as I'm pulling it down. So if you want a more realistic, you keep the curves relatively smooth. That looks pretty nice. All right, so now we've got a bluey, purpley tone. Now let's let's go to the blues, and see what we can do if we mess with the blues. So we can drop the blues low, and we get that kind of color, or we can amp the blues and get it that way. I think I like it better dropped. And then you hit OK. All right, and now I really like this option. You've got the cool red highlight and pinks in the in the eyes and and things like that. When you like that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit File, Save. All right, you're going to do a JPEG. And you're going to bring the quality right up to 100%. You're going to change the name to Option 1. All right, hit OK. It's going to bring you to your computer, and you're going to uh, save that option. All right, so now the image is saved. Now, uh, what you're looking to do is to come up with a whole bunch of different options. So once you've uh, got that first option, you can go back into your curves and continue to mess with it. So maybe this time I do want to bring the greens up in a different way to try something different. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right, the more uh, intriguing or strange the curve is, the more posturized the, the color tones are. So you see these interesting kind of solarized uh, color levels too. That's a cool option there too. So file save. This time I'm going to call it option two. Bring the quality back up to 100%. Wait for it to think a little bit and hit OK. All right. So you're 
building a bank of a, a bunch of different color options um, within the, these adjustments. All right. Um, another thing you can do if you want to change the color overall is to go to hue and saturation. And here you can affect the, the colors as a whole. So I can bring this slider over and I get all different color ranges here. All right, so you can get like a very purpley one. It doesn't change the curve, so you notice that the that 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 dramatic kind of curves that I set at first stays the same, but I can play with that and get a whole, totally different color tone that might kind of give off a different mood. Every time you come up with one, JPEG, this time option three, and bring it up to 100%, and save. Simple as that. All right, so you're aiming for about five different options with different color tones, different levels of curve to come up with some wild different color options. All right, give that a shot. You can use that on any web browser.